Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I hope you are doing finer in frogs there. I am going to do a little whipping chat with you to, today. It's night time right now. <laughs> I couldn't sleep so I thought I'm going to do a video. This is the kit I'm working on by Captured from Captured by Radiance. She's a beauty. And I want you to look at the shine on these drills. If you have never tried one of their kits, you really will not be disappointed if you do. They are gorgeous. They're a premium diamond painting company. And you're going to get the best quality. Um, they're going to be coming out with some new kits. And I'm going to have one to show you pretty soon. They're sending me a sneak peek. I cannot wait to show it to you. I'm not sure which one they're sending me. So I'm excited. That's it. All the ones I have are gorgeous. I'm going to put this paper here. I, I use um, these silicone release papers so I can just lay my arm down and not, then I, my hand doesn't get tired and my wrist from having to hold it up here like this. So I get the big sheets um, off of Amazon because that gives me more room to lay my hand down. And it is one sided. The really shiny side is the side that goes down. And I put a sticker just to show you a way that you can remember, or you could just take a marker and mark across it. I also got this gorgeous diamond painting pen from Captured by Radiance. So they've got all kinds of things. Go check them out. So anyway, let me get started here. Um, let me make sure I'm working on the right symbol. <laughs> you know how it is when you get started and you get started going with the wrong one. It's, it's irritating. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that all of you are doing fine and you are having mm, as good a weather as you can. I know it's hot in a lot of places. I've got to tell you about our adventures from not last week, but the week before. Because I haven't done a whipping chat since this incident happened. It was just it was crazy weather, you know. <laughs> the weather's been a little crazy here in Texas, and. This was on a Tuesday. I had gone to get my hair cut, and then I was going to go shopping with my daughter. And I went back home. She was waiting between uh, after she finished her meetings with work so that we could go. She started early, and then she was going to jump hop back on work when she got back. Uh, we just ran to Walmart to get a few things and that's something we can do together. Our town is small, okay? There's not a lot. And she has to work. So we went. Before we went, she had told me what time she would be able to go and I said, okay, that's fine. Uh, I should be done with my hair appointment. When I got back home and ate something and getting ready to leave to go to her house, it started raining. So I'm thinking, oh, well, they hadn't really predicted much rain, so I thought, this isn't going to last very long. So got ready and then it started raining really hard it was like someone was pouring buckets of water this was at my house before I left and I'm like oh wow okay <laughs> um, it, it's gonna let up in just a little while and we can go so I went and I usually stop by Sonic and pick us up a couple of drinks and then go on to her house and it was still um, pouring on the road, but when I got to town, it wasn't hardly raining at all. I'm like, okay. This is, I, I knew, you know, it was going to get better. 
So I get our drinks and then I head over to her house on the other side of town and it starts pouring down rain when I'm on the other side of town. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> well, we can just, I'll go to her house and we can just sit and wait for the rain to stop. So, went to her house and went inside, got wet from all the rain because I said it was pouring and I was had two drinks I was holding in my hand and I didn't have my rain, my my umbrella in my I, I just put a, like a towel over my head because <laughs> I'm thinking this isn't going to last long. So we go in her house and we're waiting. You know, not much time passes <clears throat> before we notice that her um, she she's renting um, like a little cottage at this place. Um, there a lot of people rent there, and um, where she lives, the office is in one area, and then you that there's a dirt long drive to get to her place and there's like a little lake or pond out front you know just real nice well the only bad thing is that road is a dirt road it has some rocks on it and back in May April and May we got 20 to 30 inches of rain in those months and the road had washed out well they went back in and they put a lot of dirt to temporarily temporarily fix that road so people could drive out Catherine was having to that's my daughter's name having to walk from her car from her house to her car which was parked at the office and that it was about a fourth of a mile she was having to walk because she couldn't get down that road they finally fixed it I, I was happy too because when I'd go to her place I had to walk that fourth of a mile too and in the heat mm, not fun well while we were sitting there at Catherine's house it just started pouring harder and harder and harder and there's a creek across that little road and that creek was overflowing and coming across part of the road into the lake and it was like little waterfalls because it had started making a big hole well the place where it had washed out before um we were thinking you know they fixed it everything's gonna be okay it finally quit raining I don't know maybe an hour it, it, it seemed like it was forever and Catherine said I'm gonna walk down to you know down the road to make sure that it's clear before we drive drive out of here and I said okay sounds good so she walked down to where the road w washed out before that little roadway <laughs> it was maybe two to three feet wide maybe I don't know if it was even that far maybe it was a couple of feet wide so yeah there was no way I was going to be driving my car back out of there not in a million years so my car was being held hostage by, by the road so I called my husband while I had been raining I was taking pictures of how much rain was falling and I asked him if where he was working, if they were getting that kind of rain, and they weren't. I said, it is pouring. Then, Catherine went down there and took pictures of that road, and I said, uh, you're going to have to come get me to take me home, because we can't get out. So, her car is parked in the parking lot, my car, and there are other people's cars that are parked there it was just it was just a sight to behold it was just lovely just lovely um so i call my husband 
had sent him the pictures. He couldn't believe it because they were not getting that kind of rain where he was at. So he said, yeah, he would come pick me up. He finished, he got, he left work a little earlier so he could come and get me. He had to park on the other side of that hole. He couldn't come too close, so he ended up backing so he wouldn't have to backing up toward that hole. <laughs> the caved-in road was. He backed up to it so he could come get me. And needless to say, we did not get to go shopping to get a few of the things we needed. So um, he couldn't believe it. He, he saw it, and it was like, oh, my gosh. So he, um, I walked. It had quit, finally quit raining. It was just a very slight drizzle about that time. A lot of time had passed. I, I don't know, a couple of hours. So he came and got me, and he couldn't believe it. The people who run the place, the managers, I guess, they were out there taking pictures. And they sent a note to the people who lived on that side of the road, because there are houses on the other side. where There was no problem. It's concrete over there. So there was no problem. They weren't going to be affected in any way. But everyone on the other side of this lake, yeah, um, it was nice, really nice. But they sent everyone a text or an email, whatever it was, and, uh, saying that they would have someone out that next morning and they would try to have the road ready to go by the next day. Well, we had in the forecast more rain. Woohoo! Yeah. We haven't had this much rain. I, I don't remember ever having this much rain. So I'm thinking, there's no way. There is no way they're going to get that done. But by golly, they got out there. They It didn't rain as much as it had be, the day before. So luck was on their side. And they put a bunch of dirt and rocks in there. It's still not permanently fixed. And I'm not sure when they're going to plan on doing it. Um... It rained some last week, but not real heavy. This week, we're not supposed to have any rain, so... Hmm. Wonder if they'll go out there and get it fixed permanently so it doesn't wash away in the next gully washer. Because, boy, did it make a gully. <laughs> big ol' hole. You fall off in that, um, you'd be in some big trouble. So, yeah, my... My car was, um, it was stuck. I was, my husband came and picked me up, and luckily we had another, um, car. He, he has a co company car, a truck that he uses, so we had another car at home that I could use the next day, just in case I had any emergencies. Luckily, did not have any problems, so I stayed home. And, yeah, they they got that road done. But, if they don't fix that thing permanent, it's, they're going to have the same problem again. That's crazy. They're, one of the guys who lives on that side, he was walking. Dun, 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 I mean, he was, he was probably in his 30s. You could tell he uh, had business on his mind. He was walking down there. Uh, this was before Jerry had come to get me. And I told him, Catherine, I said, he looks like he means business. When Jerry did come, this uh, man, young man was coming back from the office. And I said, well, they said they're supposed to have it fixed by tomorrow. And he said, yeah. He said, I just got finished talking to him. He said, I'm supposed to be leaving to go to Austin right now. Probably for his job, some kind of business trip or whatever. He was not happy at all. Because um, it was, you know, later the next day before they had it fixed. 
there was a big gaping hole. Like I said, it came a gully washer in it. And yeah, I made a little gully there. So yeah, there, there's a lot of damage. They have that happened during all the rains. They have a little bridge that you could walk across. And Kevin used to like to go across there. My daughter is a uh, big time walker. She is walking every day 10 to 13 miles a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, in this heat, I feel like temperatures have the last few days have been 107, 106. Our real temperature will be 101, 102 coming up, so the feel like will be more than that, probably 110 or so, depending on the humidity. And we've had so much humidity, it's just made it bleh. So she gets out there and she walks. I cannot do it. For one thing, I cannot walk that far. <laughs> oh, no, I certainly can't walk that fast, as she does. Um, I used, to, when it was cooler, back before, in, in the spring, you know, into the winter, springtime, I'd walk with her about two and a half miles. Because that wasn't long enough for her, so she would stop and I'd get a drink or whatever, water, and then I'd go on home to cool off. Of course, like I said, it wasn't as hot then. Now, mm -mm, no, I maybe maybe I can walk with her again. Um, October, or November, when it decides to cool off here in Texas, because it's a long time before we get start getting cooler weather. Maybe I'll be surprised this year. You just never know. Yeah, she, um, she and my husband, Jerry, they have joined a hiking group, so, uh, once a month, they, this group actually meets every week, but once a month they do this one trail that's not as far from where we live as some of the others they do. I mean, it's still maybe between 45 minutes to an hour drive, but, and they walk that, they meet at about 8, 8.30, before it gets, um, real hot, but, but they're walking, they walked 12 miles this past Saturday, I'm like, hmm, goody, goody for you, I'm so happy for you, and my husband said, well, you could come, um, you know, I said, yeah, I, in that heat, I, I might make it one mile, crawling <laughs> and I said do you really think that I want to walk by myself or with a stranger I said uh, no thank you so they also go walking every Saturday Jerry and Catherine are finding trails all around here they go an hour and a half two hour drive away finding new trails Okay, you know, do your thing. So they're doing their da -da 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 walking. Just um, stay here, and um, she she usually brings her clothes over and she puts them in the wash. And while they're gone, I go ahead and when they're finished, I put them in the dryer and take them out of the dryer when they're done. Cause I'm not gonna make her have to do that when she gets back. I'm her mom. That's what moms do, you know? So, that's how I spend my time, because they will leave here some anytime between 6 and 6.30 to go take off onto their wild journey to wherever it is. They went on this one trail Evidently, it was pretty bad. Fallen trees and tall grass and all kinds of stuff like that. And I can't remember how far they drove. I don't know, hour and a half, two hours to get to that spot. Well, there is a... 
supposedly a haunted cemetery in there somewhere because they looked these places up on the internet. Well, they found one cemetery, but it wasn't the right one. It wasn't the supposed haunted one. I'm like, really? <laughs> so, they're planning on going there again sometime. I don't know when yet. Because I've got plans to go. Me, Jerry and I are planning on going and visiting my sister this weekend. I cannot wait. I haven't seen her in almost two years. And Jerry has not seen them in close to six. Because I usually go and I'll stay a few days um, so I can visit with her. I mean, it's only like between about an hour and 15, hour and a half. It's not that far. But I had my dogs, and she, her dog and my dog were afraid they might get into a fight with each other. And I have two dogs, and um, Oliver and Bogey are my dogs. And sometimes Bogey gets to be a little punk, okay? He's a little jealous little fart. He's jealous of me giving attention to Oliver doesn't like it. So, if he happens to see Oliver even glance in my direction, he, I'm like, stop it. And he will stop when I, I'll get up sometimes and just go pet Oliver. So, he knows he's part of the family too. So, shut up. <laughs> I love Bogey to pieces. He's my little Velcro dog. Love him. I mean, he's, he's in here sleeping. <laughs> he's on the floor now have carpet on the floor. Sometimes he's on the couch. Never know where he'll be moving around to. But if I go, when I go to spend the night at my sister's, Jerry's complaining because, you know, he has to break it. They don't listen to him like they do me because he doesn't have the mommy voice. But I told them, I said, you need to go um, because he hasn't seen, you know, my sister's son and daughter. They're married and he's, ne he's only seen one of, Jason um, has two boys. One is six and one is two. And my niece has a two-year-old little boy and he has he has only seen one of them and he saw him at his first birthday that's the six-year-old and his birthday was just past February and I didn't get to go this past year I of course I always send them gifts because I don't have any grandkids and I'm not probably not going to ever have grandkids. My daughter doesn't want them. She's divorced and she um, hasn't really found anybody. It, it was it was a bad. It was a rough divorce. Won't talk about that. <sighs> that. That was a tough that was a tough time. But yeah. She doesn't, you know, at this point in time, in fact, when her ex decided he wanted a divorce, they were trying to have a baby. So, yeah, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Um, he decided he wanted a divorce. Come find out he was running around on her. Well, that's neither here nor there. If I start talking about it, I'll get mad. So it's best for me to shut my mouth. So, anyway, they're, they're like my grandkids. Of course, I have told you about Isaac. He is basically my grandson. He, I taught him when he moved here from Honduras. I've talk, told y'all about him, if you in, if you listen to me. And he got married while he was in the Marines, and he's out of the Marines now. And their little boy is due 
in October. And I am working on his crochet blanket. And I will, when I get more done, I will, I'll show you some of it. If you'd be interested in watching me crochet on it, let me know. I can do a crochet, a whipping, a whipping chat with doing crochet or cross stitch or anything. So, you know, if you're interested in that, let me know. I have had um, some people tell me they would be interested in that. So, in, in fact, in both crochet and cross stitch. So, I can't wait to see the boys. Like I said, it's been almost two years since I've seen them. So, they were little. They were little. Rance was four, and the others, um, one, I went to his one-year-old birthday. The other one was just a few months old, because one will be three in September, and the other one is going to be three in December. So, I'm looking forward to seeing them. I had a really good chat with Lance, the six-year-old, on the phone the other day. I was talking to my sister, and he happened to be over there. That's one thing I wish I had was a grandchild, you know, be able to come over and visit, and I could spoil them rotten. But we have to live with a hand that is dealt us and try to be happy about it. I was blessed that I did have a daughter, so... I'll have to just deal with that. Uh, anyway, I can't wait to see them, but we had a good chat on the phone, and I said, asked him if he remembered me, and he said, no, I don't, I, I don't. And I said, well, um, I'm going to be coming to see you soon. I said, your Gigi is my sister. And he said, yeah, she told me that. <laughs> so, I get to have to... Get to know the boys all over again. They just know me from the gifts that I've sent them. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, I, do, I have my dogs. So, <laughs> I just, they're, they can be just a little mess. When I'm fixing their supper, oh my goodness, they get so excited. I I have kibble that I leave out during the day. They can eat on if they're hungry. But their favorite meal is at night because I feed them. It's called Fresh Pet. Fresh Pet. Uh, and it's a soft, softer food. It looks like meat and it's got vegetables in it. And when I am getting that out and I'm crumbling it up into their bowls, they are just barking away. Sometimes Oliver's howling. <laughs> they get so excited. It's so funny. And they, they do not even look up what they're eating. <laughs> but I can put my hands right by their faces. They never try to bite me. I, I've, I can put my face right up there my hands and they're not going to do anything they know well they know who boss is <laughs> I guess they're good babies my good boys they deserve all the goodies yeah they oh my goodness if you have dogs or cats you know how much company they are and when they have something good to eat or treats, my goodness, to see how excited they are is fun. Another thing that's exciting is when, you, when you're when gone, I don't care if it's five minutes, when you come back in the house, they're just like, <laughs> you know, jumping around like you've been gone for days. And it makes you feel good. You're like, somebody does care. <laughs> so, it's it's fun. It is fun to have these babies. 
I am just loving this. It's coming out so pretty. The colors and the, uh, the shine is so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> We've been having a little extra pollen. <clears throat> and it's giving me a little extra fun. <laughs> In the allergy area. I um, sometimes have to take a little extra allergy medication than what I norm you know, take daily. If I didn't take something daily, I would be losing my voice all the time and I did sometimes it gets kinda rough. My sister called me the other day and I was kinda talking like this. And she said, What's wrong? I said, Oh, it's just some allergies. So when I'm talking like that, I can't very well make a video. You don't want to listen to that for very long. But I have some more things to show you. And hopefully we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, have better weather. And not going to be having these crazy rainstorms. And as far as hurricanes, the months uh, bet between the middle of August and the middle of October is our busiest hurricane time. I know there's one going into Florida. I haven't looked to see how bad it's been. I think if you're in Florida, let me know how y'all are doing. Because I know that one was going to be a rough one. I don't remember what area it was going in. And then it'll be going up the coast, the east coast. So some of the you people in North and South Carolina may have a rough time of it and I don't know all the other places that are going to be affected but we'll see if we get another one I am not looking forward to it we do have a generator now but I still the trees falling they're just they're swaying in the wind and I'm looking outside I'm like oh my goodness please don't fall I, I think we have gotten rid of all the ones that might fall on the house Jerry tries to keep make sure it, all those are cut back and whatever but having all of that rain and then when you get a lot of wind those trees come down much easier and that was one thing that was a problem with this last hurricane there was so much damage from trees falling the wind that's the worst well we didn't have a whole lot of rain with this hurricane thank goodness um, so it it was nothing like the rain that we got back in May. That was that was unreal. That that's not normal for us to have rain like that. We've been having more rain this summer than usually we're pretty dry this time of year. So it's been weird. Very strange. I'm trying to decide. Um, I'd like to get out of the house and do something. I did volunteer at the library for a while. Um, the person who was doing that, she quit the job to do something else. And they don't have anyone doing it now. I do not want a job doing it. I just would volunteer. I would kind of like to volunteer maybe at a nursing home, but ever since COVID, because I used to volunteer and go and talk to the people. Sometimes I'd play the piano and sing, and I'd have a crowd around me because I'd play some old songs and hymns and that type of thing, and they enjoyed it because they knew the words and they sing and I have not made a twiddle moth in a long long time which is I've shown them on my channel before I don't have one of them laying close by right now 
but it's something for Alzheimer's and dementia patients. They can put their hands in it, or you can make one that just fits over the wrist. Uh, I crochet them, but you can actually make them. You can knit them, you can sew them. And I, I keep having people asking me to do a video making the twiddle muff. But man, <laughs> it's very time consuming. I, I, I don't know how, you know, interested people really are going to be to put all of the time in it. I guess I should, I mean, what difference is it going to make? If, I, if I'm going to go ahead and make one. The deal is, if I do the um, twiddle muff, you really you need to know how to sh already crochet. You need to know the basic stitches, because I can show you to make it into a tube. You can sew in the round, like that's what I do. But you can also do a, a rectangle, and you put the wrong sides together and sew it up. And you've got a tube then, because when you combine just, you know, that one edge, you have it flat, and then you put that in, and you sew it up, you got a tube. So, that's another way you can do it. You don't have to crochet in a, in a tube. I do because I, I guess, <laughs> just like doing it that way. I don't know. That's just the way I do it. You can also, um, some people make them where they just lay flat on a table. So you just make a big square and you can put different kinds of items on there that people can twiddle with. It could be buttons and ribbons and curly cues and all kinds of things. I need to get back to doing that, but I am, like I said, in the middle of also crocheting a baby blanket. My thumb is doing better. I am taking some joint, a, a supplement for joint pain, well, to make your joints, <laughs> I guess. Lubricated? I don't know. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's been, it's been doing it's been feeling a lot better. I've been able to crochet and not have severe pain. I am diamond painting and not having real severe pain. It's just a, just a little achy if I press too hard. And, and I'm a hard presser. <laughs> I can't help it. I just have this feeling like if I just barely put it down. And you can just, just barely put it down and it's going to stay. Because this is sticky, sticky. They're not going to fall off, but that's, just, I, that's all, the way I've always done it. I don't know. You know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks sometimes. <laughs> this, this old dog don't want to do it anyway. But. Just let me know what kinds of things you'd like me to do. Um, I've had several people tell me they like my whipping chaps. Chaps. <laughs> yeah, my chaps. Well, we're the cowgirl chaps. My whipping chaps. And I really appreciate those of you who tell me what you enjoy. Because it helps me know what you want to see on my channel. Uh, I used to read, like, fairy tales and things like that when I diamond painted. And I used to have people tell me they like to hear me read stories. I just haven't gotten back to doing it. But just let me know the kinds of things you like because that's the kinds of things I want to do. I do have, like I said, some more things to show you. I'm going to be having a new diamond painting coming soon from Captured by Radiance. One of their new releases. Oh. See which one. I can't wait to see which one they send. So I'll be doing a video on that really soon. And as you can see, this is so easy to work on. I'm doing a square. I like doing squares. They, 
I think are having mostly squares right now because it's just so expensive to get squares and rounds together and that and all that stuff. But I love doing them. They have great squares. Anyway, I have talked your ear off by now. So I'm going to let you go. I love you guys. You take care. Go check this beauty out. Love you. God bless you. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.